Hi folks, so for today's video I thought I might just have a bit of a casual chat about the Gemini protocol. I've put up a couple of videos on this channel where I've uh, you know, done a tutorial about how to set up your own Gemini uh, server uh, and I've also gone through a handful of the Gemini browsers although there are quite a few out there and I'm probably going to do a follow-up video with a few more uh, browsers to browse Gemini capsules but today I'm going to talk a little bit about what is Gemini and why is Gemini because I know is a lot of people don't really kind of understand that so I'm going to just sort of uh, discuss a few of the talking points address some of the I'm going to call them criticisms but they're uh, most of them are just misunderstandings about what Gemini is and and, and why Gemini sort of exists and, and what it hopes to achieve I got to admit I find many of these criticisms quite uh, irritating because most of these criticisms would be quite easily addressed by having a look on 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 this this very this very website right so this is uh this is gemini.circumlunar.space this is the what you might call the front page of the gem project gemini white paper i guess or the front page of the you know of project gemini it addresses all of the or it, it addresses like the genesis of Gemini pretty well uh, and it's even got a Gemini FAQ and there have been some criticisms of people who who like you know just looking at this FAQ would have answered them um, I think it's just typical of the internet at this stage that people form opinions without even like literally going through the frequently asked questions so Gemini started in June 2019 application level internet protocol for the distribution of arbitrary files with some special considerations for serving a lightweight hypertext format which facilitates linking between files. You may think of Gemini as the web stripped right back to its essence or as gopher souped up and modernized a little depending upon your perspective. Gemini may be of interest to people who are opposed to the web's ubiquitous user tracking, tired of obnoxious adverts, autoplaying videos and other miss features interested in low power computing and or low speed networks so i'm not going to read the whole page there are many many other advantages i see to gemini the one that immediately comes to mind is that because of the simplicity of the document layout it's a it's a great protocol for cross-platform devices because it is such a text-centric protocol it displays web page uh, a web oh, no, sorry not a web page a gemini capsule or a gemini page just as well on a desktop as it would do on a phone as it would do on an e-reader or a television or i suppose you wouldn't really read much on a television but it's such an adaptable way because it does draw back the the um the gemini to it to its core components the fact that it is so slimmed down, the fact that there are so few features about it, uh, it you know, it is a selling point, right? So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to transition back to my face here, and I'm just going to go into my Crystal browser. Uh, I've just got to just readjust it here. So apologies for the... Uh, there. So I've got my Crystal browser right here. Uh, and what this is... Um, this is my uh, my Gemini capsule. Um, I really quite like it. I work on it, uh, you know, sort of uh, every couple of days. Um, I've even got a little um, nano log here, which is kind of like a Twitter feed. Um, I was toying with the idea of actually doing a video on a nice little script that Drew made, uh, which can actually just allow you to to micro like you know uh, micro blog. That's the term I was I was, I was looking for. Um, but this is yeah this this is it. This is my um, my Gemini capsule, um, and I think it looks quite nice. I've set up the browser to make it look like that. If you go to the browser, my um, browser video, you'll be able to see what a Gemini, pa uh, Gemini page might look like um, in different browsers. It's up to the browser to display the page, but because what you see here is just simply text, um, it's all really uh, quite straightforward. So, um, so what is the point of Gemini? Some people are sort of asking, well, you know, why not just, uh, you know, make a very basic HTML type website, similar to what I've done with, with chrisware.uk on the uh, on the web, uh, for, for the website rather than the Gemini stuff. 
Um, and there are people say, well, yeah, and, and the, the counter to that is, well, having a protocol allows people, allows an expectation of standards. So it allows, you know, that when you visit a Gemini page, you know exactly what to expect. You know how, you know that it's going to work on your phone. There is no like this, you know, sometimes I don't know if you've ever visited an old website on a mobile phone and you've got like this, this page that designed for a desktop big monitor squeezed into a very tiny, um, you know, very tiny screen of the phone where you just can't read anything it doesn't function properly you have to zoom in to see to see words and stuff like that it you know it's impractical you'd never have that problem with gemini gemini works just as well on mobile as it does on on the desktop it's fantastic in that regard so um what else does uh so, so okay one of the other criticisms like what you know like you know uh, what's the point of making a gemini page when uh, you know, fewer people are going to view it. Like you're sort of closing yourself into a niche community. You're closing yourself off from, from the rest of the world by basically making a stripped back web page that is sort of difficult, more difficult than than a web page to, to find and to view. Now, there's many reasons for this. Uh, one is that, like in the case of mine, like I, I'm my page is all sort of like deliberately designed for people interested in Gemini. Like it's 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 the culture of of Gemini pages and. Gemini capsules is distinct from from the web. It's much more personable. It's it's many ways going, you know, looking back on the internet and looking at what it used to be, what it used to mean, how we used to enjoy it, and then finding the best parts of that without necessarily wholesale reverting back to it, right? So for example, um the sort of the the nostalgia side of things which you know, you could go back to Gopher. Gopher would be like just rewinding the web and, and going back to an alternative, more restrictive protocol for the sake of simplicity. Now, I like Gopher. Gopher's pretty cool. But one of the reasons I set up a Gemini page in the first place and not a Gopher one, um, or a Gopher hole, they call it, uh, is simply because Gopher's just old. Like, it is difficult to still get running. It doesn't have, like, TLS certificates. It's It's less... Uh, it's less secure and it's less uh, private. Uh, one of the great things about Gemini is that it's privacy respecting by design right from the very beginning. You do not get um, unsigned Gemini pages. Uh, everything everything on the Gemini network is like it's it's there is like a minimum expectation of privacy and and that's really good. Um, also, because it's so restrictive, it prevents and limits how it can be abused. Right, uh, the web by you know by um by contrast like it allows you to do so much more and as a result like, you've got some pretty amazing stuff right i am not necessarily you know like i think that there are some great benefits i think the web has brought us some wonderful things these days um but because it is sort of so free it has also allowed for untold amounts of abuse when it comes to personal data when it becomes things like behavioral manipulation like look at what facebook have done to manipulate people's behavior it's really quite abhorrent um you you know, like doing this with Gemini is is nigh on impossible, right? Um, so uh, you know, like also um, when it comes to things like Gemini is is like a text based protocol, right? So there are no inline images, there are no uh, inline videos. If you wanted to watch a video, you can click a video and you can download it as a video file. Um, but I really like that specifically because it is a protocol that prioritizes substance over style, right? You get to actually look at the protocol. You get to um, you get to actually look at the page, right? You get to look at the, the the subject matter and the substance of the page in a good high contrast font that you get to choose. So if you are perhaps dyslexic, you can use maybe like Open Dyslexic font. I know actually some people with dyslexia uh, actually quite like Comic Sans and things like that. Uh, you can actually view the the web page as you want. You it, what matters is the actual content no you know on gemini you do not get like webs uh, web pages right where you have to scroll down like an entire you know graphic of like a hipster drinking coffee just to actually get to like a meager amount of information how many websites out there particularly like project websites company websites just have such little information on the front page because they're not actually trying to portray information to you they're trying to portray an image they're trying to uh, you know it's this whole like marketing idea of selling you an image selling you a lifestyle rather than actually uh, focusing on substantive important information uh, which Gemini provides like I don't want a picture book <laughs> you know this is this is for people that, that that are much more interested in actually reading things that mean something um, 
also because of its restrictive nature it is much less attractive to like big companies right you you know it's not it's much less attractive to be exploited by by companies like google by amazon and all this kind of um you know all, all of the big tech companies because it's it's designed to be less profitable it's not designed to be a money-making spinner it's designed very straightforwardly uh just to portray information it is an amateur project by design it takes the best stuff about the amateur web the idea of people who just like enjoy uh like making things and learning for the sake of it and i think that is to me what i personally get out of gemini right this idea of you know like a lot of people have, have sort of criticized gemini because it fundamentally can't add to their you know professional life basically because they can't make money off of it it's not just big companies that are actually seeking to exploit the web it is actually just like small businesses and individuals too if i can't make money off of it what's the point same thing with with us youtube influencers oh crikey did i ugh, oh it's horrible isn't it right like like this idea of like how many youtubers are, are out there who are fundamentally doing it to make money right uh who who are sort of like you know making you uh, or, or at least encouraging you or manipulating you into buying stuff that you don't need, uh, you know, for the sake of just lining their own pockets, right? Less, you know, I, you know, that's not on Gemini, really. Now, that's not to say it can't be on Gemini. I don't want to sort of like rule out that, that you know, one day Gemini might hit the big time and then there'll be Gemini influences and stuff like that. It's not impossible, woefully unlikely. And uh, and I don't expect it would ever happen. I imagine that the Gemini will sort of exist as a bunch of people who care passionately about the web, who care passionately about knowledge, care passionately about sharing information in a sort of a community orientated fashion. And that's where it's that's where it's genuinely strong. Like most Gemini pages that I read, they're people talking about their hobbies, their the books that they've read, uh, the you know fishing, woodworking, growing plants. Um, all of this kind of stuff, like free and open source software and their attitudes towards it. Um, and, and people write like at length. We're not talking about hot take tweets or anything like that. We're talking about like people who just sit down and genuinely think, want to say something substantive, knowing that like a Gemini page isn't going to go viral, right? It's, it's anti-virility. That's kind of almost its point. It's this idea of, I don't necessarily want the world to see what I'm writing. I want thoughtful sincere intelligent people who genuinely val value knowledge and learning for what it is to sort of read and understand what it is that i'm putting together i have had a, a lot of feedback from my gemini page almost all of it pretty much all of it can't even think of an exception has been sincere meaningful thoughtful um and, and reflective and i wrote about fountain pens like i'm rediscovering the joy of writing with a fountain pen for example uh, people have been like you know talking to me about fountain pens that they use that they really like and 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 you know inks and you know really like nerdy stuff about the most peculiar of, of facets of human life and that's wonderful yes you can get that on the web yes gemini doesn't have a monopoly on that but gemini is like a great place to go for that it's wonderful it's it's the human part of the web basically so one of the things I think that people get wrong the most that irritates me the most is this idea that Gemini is designed to replace the web. It is not. It is not. It is not at all. Uh, what I can do is I can actually go back to... Um, I'm going to go back to the LibraWolf page here. Oh, sorry, website here, right? Uh, I'm just going to go back to Gemini FAQs. And this is definitely a page worth reading. Uh, where can I learn more? Do you think, okay, do you really think Gemini can replace the web? Not for a minute, the first four words. Nor does anyone involved with Gen Gemini want to destroy gopher space. Gemini is not intended to replace either gopher or the web, but to coexist peacefully alongside them as one more option which people can freely choose to use if it suits them. The, f the fact of the matter is, is that if you do not see the value in Gemini, Gemini is probably not for you. And it's really as simple as that. Uh, Gemini, to me, deeply suits like a particular like mindset of um, recreational, like the people who like to learn because learning is fun, like because it exercises the brain. Learning something, even though it's not directly applicable in day-to-day -day life, right, outside of a small bit of recreation, like that's 
that that's the kind of people you know i learned gemini because i wanted to learn about like self-hosting i wanted to get more 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 to grips with with how self-hosting works and gemini was something interesting it wasn't just putting together a website it just wasn't following a standard list of instructions it was actually being a part of a living breathing developing project and that to me is is where it distinguishes itself from something like gopher i could put together my 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 page on Gopher and it would be very similar. It would be broadly the same. It would be laid out a little bit differently, but it would be broadly the same. The thing is, Gopher is old technology. It's been explored. It's kind of been done, right? And that's not to say that it doesn't offer great value, but that's to say it is not an emerging technology. It is not new. The community behind it are more preserving um, a uh, treasured artifact of the past, whereas Gemini is developing something new for the future. It takes the lessons of Gopher, it takes the lessons of the web, and it draws them together and, um, and, 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 and develops something that is ideally you know, useful in and of itself. And it really is as simple as that. Um, it sort of reminds me a little bit of that, that wonderful JFK quote about going to the moon, that we don't do it because it's easy, we do it because it's hard. Like learning a whole new protocol just so that I can write about fountain pens. To many people, that is quite peculiar because why not just do a Medium post or a Facebook post or a tweet? Or, you know, for the open source minded, something on the Fediverse, like a like a, a toot in, in, in Mastodon. And, and, and it's... Uh, to me, learning for the sake of learning is valuable. It's the, you know, it's the mental equivalent of going to a gym and lifting weights, right? If you describe the process of going to a gym and lifting weights to someone that had never sort of heard of it before, it would sound incredibly peculiar, right? I eat a big breakfast. I go into a room with a lot of people. I pick something up. I put something down again. I pick something up. I put something down again. I pick something up. I put something down again. It has no use or, or meaning to anyone, but it's just, you know, I mean, that's not necessarily true. Like, you know, working out in the gym has its own rewards and, um, you know, but it's like this, is you know, in this, but, but going to the gym and lifting weights is, you know, it brings a degree of, of value to the people doing it in the same way that learning Gemini, just for the sake of learning Gemini, I'm not going to get a job as a Gemini consultant or anything like that, but learning Gemini just because it gives me something to learn. It gives me something to, you know, like as a, as a game, like it's, you know, like, like learning, it's almost like, like a video game in terms of like, um, how we approach it, how we enjoy it. Uh, I love the, the, the community that, that, that Gemini has built around it. There, there are people who I, you know, uh, have met through Gemini, who I've met through the feedback that they, they give me about their page and sharing pages and linking to each other's pages on each other's Gemini capsules. Um, you know, the idea of questioning, you know, what it means to exist in a world where we can communicate very seamlessly with people half a world away as easy as we would to our next door neighbor in many, many cases. Um, I'm starting to ramble a little bit now, but, but to me, like Gemini has this, uh, has this substantially deeper meaning than just, it's a way to, to, to send text documents across. Um, it, it, the fact that it's simple also dispenses with the idea of things like, have you ever used WordPress lately? Where, where like WordPress has turned into a horrendous beast, right? As one of the, the most successful pieces of open source software out there, uh, a corporate piece of open source software, by the way, of course, some automatics is, you know, it is, it is a company out there. Um, what they've done to the, the prospect of like, you know, putting together a basic blog or a basic web page. I mean, can you imagine the idea of installing a WordPress install onto your server just, just for a single page website? People do that. It's baffling. It's mad, right? But, um, and, and, and that is indicative of just how bloated the web is and has become. Um, it, it, and how we approach it, right? And in fact, many cases when it comes to web development, um, a lot of cases, it's not in, you know, enthusiastic uh, hobbyists that want the web to be the best that it can be that do it. It's people that are working on an hourly rate um, and just want to fire off the job so that they can go home to their family or so that they can move on to the next job and make a few extra quid that way. You know, like when you make something um, professional by design or professional, you know, by default, uh, it then starts, you start then cutting corners and then someone else has to, you know, deal with that. Um, and then it often, you know, kicks the can down the road that, um, 
that you end up sort of uh, with a systemic issue of resource mismanagement and so forth. It, it, you know, and that's where we are with the web, basically. Uh, the web is not lean. The web is very bloated. There's a lot on the web that could be trimmed back for the sake of, of, of performance and resource um, uh, efficiency, but it's not. You know, like low power computing is one of the goals of Gemini and, you know, being able to view a Gemini page on your phone is, you know, that, that, that is like the leanest way you can, you can, you know, get information. Um, in many cases, when you look at Google's AMP, um, specifications, uh, the idea behind Google's AMP. So like the accelerated mobile pages is basically slimming down web pages is a concerted effort by Google to slim down web pages so that they actually just don't eat up a mobile phone's battery. Um, it's it, AMP is kind of like, you know, it's, it's aim it's, it's goals are not hugely dissimilar to Gemini. Of course, Gemini is, is of course, specifically, um, a ground up grass, sort of like a grassroots project. Like, you know, it's, it's a, it's a collection of, of people that, that have, you know, it's not designed, it's not designed for professional workplace stuff. Um, and, and I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that you know, every page I come across on Gemini was crafted by a person. Uh, a lot of thought has gone into it and, um, and it, and it means something like you're connecting with people. You're not connecting with businesses. You're not con connecting with influencers who want to get as many followers as they can. I have no idea how many people have visited my Gemini capsule. I have zero idea whatsoever. I could possibly garner maybe an insight into it, judging from the resource logs of, of my digital ocean droplet, but I'm not going to, I don't care. Like it, I, I, I like the rebellion against, it. I like the rebellion against the idea of chasing followers, chasing views, chasing all of this, these metrics that at the end of the day are just going to give us more anxiety at the end of it, aren't, aren't we? Um, but yes, you know, like Gemini is, is, is not there to, to replace the web. It, it does actually, uh, you know, sort of get under my skin that people sort of just do not even read the FAQs when, uh, when, when sort of criticizing it, to be honest, more though than it should, but you know, 2021 in it okay so this has been one heck of a rambly video um and and quite frankly i think i've dotted all over the place with my love of gemini there's probably going to be a lot more um but yeah uh i'm not necessarily you know like my my gemini page is gemini colon slash slash chrisware.uk just type chrisware.uk into a gemini browser uh, and you'll you'll buy my capsule um i'd like to think there's some interesting stuff there but in all honesty it's probably going to develop into something that's like this video you know me sharing sort of uh thoughts about um all kinds of things really um but yeah um if you're not interested in it then you're not interested in it and that's fine you know carry on on the web most people will and that's great you know like um I, one of the things I do like about the Gemini community is that it's actually right from the beginning, non evangelizing. Like it's like, here's a, here's a protocol, use it if you find use for it. Um, and, and don't, if you don't, I love the fact that setting up a, uh, a server is easy, much easier than using something like Nginx or, or Apache or anything like that. Um, I like the fact that the people who are, who are developing it, like it, it feels great to be part of something up and coming, a part of something new, uh, you know, a, a little bit of a trailblazer when it comes to the internet, you know, a new protocol, uh, you know, being built by just like regular people, not by huge corporations. And, and, um, and, and it's, it's nice. It, it is, you know, it, it's, it brings fun. It brings joy. And I think that's to me what, what Gemini means. So, um, yeah. I'll probably do another follow-up video because I feel this one's a bit more rambly that I'm sure I've missed out quite a few points that I wanted to get across. But uh, I felt like, um, I just felt like sharing today, I guess. So thank you folks very much for joining me. It's a pleasure as always. Uh, if you are, of course, um, do have a Gemini capsule of your own, feel free to link it down in the comment section below. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Doodaloo.